Hello everyone, so I've received the 2D doll um, long you today, um, however I've swapped her head out for the um, doll in mind Cassia head which I received as a birthday present and I've been looking for a body for this head for quite some time. So I'm going to do a body comparison here. So this is my Glamour Eve from Dolmore. She is the um, Cami sculpt. Of course already um, in terms of comparison Cami is taller. I, I would say easily by about two centimeters something like that. The torso is a lot smaller. Um, my main complaint about the 2D doll head is this, which of course if you put the head up you have this horrible gapping. If you can see that, it's not very nice. Um, I don't like that. However, if you tilt the head forward, she has a great range of motion because of that part. So whilst I don't like it visually, it does work well for the posing of the head. Um, as it, when it comes for sitting, um, I have them sitting on a soft surface at the moment, so it kind of holds them up a bit better. My Dolmore sits better than the um, 2D doll. My 2D doll seems to kind of arch back, which I imagine if she was on a hard surface, she would just fall backwards or sit at a weird slant. It's quite unusual. It's not what my little Dolmore does at all. She sits pretty straight. But then again, you know, that's just how the sculpt is. It's not a big issue. I'm not bothered by it. But some people might be. So already in sitting height, you can tell that they are different in size. This one is taller than this one. She's shorter. Um, my Domo has longer legs. I would say probably by about half a centimeter. There would probably be only about that much in terms of size difference. Um, she has shorter arms. It's another noticeable comparison. If I put them shoulder to shoulder like that. My Domo has significant long, longer arms and that's quite funny. I mean, if I bring it in, get that focus, and you can see there that's easily maybe a centimeter and a half difference in length. And I have them shoulder to shoulder right now, so they're sitting at the same height. And that's the difference in arms, which is kind of amusing and kind of annoying at the same time. So yeah, <laughs> that's uh, one of the issues that you have with this. Just adjusting my tripod a bit. There we go. Let's get it to focus again. So yeah. There are some noticeable differences. Um, the Glamour Eve has a larger chest. That's a definite. I can't want to sit back to back. You can see the chest on the Glamour Eve pokes out a lot more than the one on the 2D doll. If I just get them to come a bit more into focus. So her chest is larger, but um, the 2D doll has a smaller, has, well, I wouldn't say smaller waist, it's flatter in appearance, but it's wider on the outside, whereas although the Dolmore is thicker in appearance from the side, it's thinner. So I'd say they're about the same, which I do think if I got the measurements, they are actually very, very close. Um, the funny thing is, is that I kept worrying that my 2D doll would be taller than my, um, my Glamour Eve, but it turned out to be the other way around. <laughs> but hey, that's fine. Um, my Glamour Eve has wider hips than the 2D doll. Um, hers are a lot thicker in comparison. And of course her chest is also 
um, the legs on the 2D doll are thicker than the Glamour Eve. That's quite noticeable. Well, perhaps in person it's more noticeable, but she has thicker legs. Um, the amusing thing is, is that the lower legs on the 2D doll are longer than the um, Glamour Eve, but the thigh section, the thighs on my um, Glamour Eve are much longer than the thighs on the 2D doll, so it's another slight difference. Um, the 2D doll has double joints in the arms, so she can bring her hand to her face, which is something that I totally adore. Um, I do need to re-suede her, she's gotten loose over time. But the 2D doll can't quite do the same. Her stopping distance is a lot sooner. So she can't quite pull off the same range of motion. So her arm stops. Of course, you'd have to bring her arm up in order to reach the same position. Um, kind of annoying, but hey, so the double jointing that they have isn't quite double jointing. It stops, let's say, just a little bit higher than a 90 degree angle. Um, the legs on this are supposedly double, double jointed, so if I bend her knee, she can bend it this far without, so if I tilt her to the side, she can bend it like that before needing to, you know, before anything gets exposed. However, my Thormor is a bit, is more of a 90 degree flex, this is a bit further. Um, she can sit on her legs. I've made her do it on a number of occasions, but you have gapping. And it's not very nice to look at, but she can do that. Um, the 2D doll can also do it. Come on. <laughs> but she's quite tight. I need to pull the parts up. <laughs> she doesn't seem to want to do it. Oh, there we go. So she sits a little bit further down and there's not much gapping on her legs. So this is more pleasing to look at than this. And she's quite wobbly. Um, my Glamour Eve doesn't have a mobility joint on her hip, but the 2D doll does. And I'm not actually sure the full extent as to how high this can go. I imagine that this would work better. Yeah, it doesn't go very high. So if I get that leg straight, this it doesn't go up very much. The chest part, it has a good range of motion. You can pull it far forward. So she's got a good slouch. However, she's tilting to the side. <laughs> and can she do it backwards? Yeah, but th there's no locking mechanism, so you'd have to sway this in order to get pull off the same range of motion. Of course, head tilt is the same, except for this ugly neck hole. <laughs> the Glamour Eve has a locking mechanism on her front part. She also has one, I think, is, does she have one on her back? No, her back doesn't have one, but the front part does. So she can arch all the way back. And um, ignore this, this was a, a modification, I'm trying to give her wings. <laughs> the detailing on the back of the doll, um, this is more defined, but my Glamour Eve has the, the butt dimples that this one doesn't. <laughs> In terms of detailing on the underside, um, the Glamour Eve is more detailed. And the Glamour Eve's nips are a lot more pointier than my 2D doll. So, those are the comparisons. Uh, she did not come with heeled feet. I had to buy heeled feet for this one. They were $25 and yeah, you know, they were a nightmare to get on. I'll tell you that. But normally the 2D doll comes with flat feet. 
Um, because my 2D doll was a um, in an event, I got extra pairs of hands. So she has a peace sign hand and she has a more flat hand as well, which are still in the box, so I haven't gotten them out. Um, whereas my Glamour Eve only came with just a single pair of hands and heeled feet only. Uh, the difference is, is that um, the Glamour Eve, um, the only way to obtain the Glamour Eve is by, is by buying um, the limited edition sets. This one is Clammy, I believe it was Mystery Circus, and she came with a special outfit and had painted hands and of course her makeup as well, which I changed and modified, so it's not the same as the actual company face-up. Um, I added to it and took some things away, just because I, she didn't fit my character otherwise. Um, the head that comes with the 2D doll is blank. Of course you can buy the body on its own from the 2D doll and you can buy um, you know, the heeled feet, but they come with flat feet on standard. You can buy them as a full set, but of course it's extra, whereas the Glamour Eve you can't buy the body on its own, and you can only get it as full sets. Uh, the price difference she was... I believe it was like $667, um, so around that range, and she was 400 and... Um, she was in sale, so she was a bit cheaper, but normally she's just over $500, so... Big price difference between the two, but she's shorter, she's taller, and you know, there are some differences there. So, in terms of colour difference, of course, Dolmore's um, skin colour for normal skin is very pasty. I'd say it's closer to Dolly Mine's normal skin colour. Whereas, uh, which is what this head is, you see it's quite a close match. Whereas the 2D Dolls a pink skin is very pink. However, I seem to have blushed my doll's head quite well, so it blends in fairly, uh, fairly nicely, so I'm not too bothered by the colour difference. So yeah, in terms of clothing, you can fit this one into some regular MSD clothing, I mean um, SD clothing, but um, yeah, you have to be careful about sizing. She does need larger SD clothing, and this one definitely needs larger SD clothing. I would say that the 2D doll can fit into Dolphy Dream, um, probably dynamite sizes, I, but I'm not sure about the waist. Whereas Dolphy Dream Dynamite does fit on the Glamour Eve. The only issue is, is that her boobs, well, her nipples are too high. So that's the common issue with the Glamour Eve, and sadly, her nipples kind of ruin everything. But if you can get them, well, if Ring Doll do more outfits for their um, Hourglass doll as well, um, they do fit her. I have the Red Riding Hood outfit, and it fits her just fine. She doesn't have any problems with it. Um, whereas I feel like on her it might swamp her a little bit just because she's smaller. So yeah, there's just some little differences. Um, also, her feet are larger than hers. I mean, her feet are so skinny and hers are quite wide. And yeah, hers are just smaller in general. And 2D Doll's hands are larger as well. I have such trouble trying to find um, my Glamour Eve some jointed hands. I really, really would love her to have some jointed hands, but she's got such skinny hands, it's quite hard. So uh, I'll have to keep looking at that. But anyway, thank you for watching, and hopefully this information was useful to you. Um, oh, one other thing is that the uh, Glamour Eve has this mobility part, but this doesn't. However, she can pull off a good range of motion, but just not quite as extensive. Um, in terms of reach, raising arms up, she's got that just fine. And, of course, my Glamour Eve can manage pulling her arms up just fine as well, and she sits still. And they can both stand just fine, there's no issues with standing. Um, I will say that the 2D doll is strung insanely tightly, whereas my Glamour Eve um, was strung tightly to begin with, but her um, elastic has loosened quite a lot over time, so um, she's only just about a year old and she already needs suading. I've only just gotten this one and she's super tight. So. Please be careful when you're changing the sh the feet from flat to heels. It was 
insanely difficult. <laughs> I won't lie. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. And yeah, I hope that, that this information was useful to you. So if you decide on which one you'd like to get in terms of the full hourglass figure, um, I would say it's just really up to you. I really like Dolmore's um, size and I love her shape, but I also quite like the 2D doll as well. Um, they're just, you know, slightly different from each other. Um, I would say that they both have pros and cons, especially with posing. Of course, you know, there are some things that my Glamour Eve can do better than my 2D doll, but my 2D doll can also do things that my Glamour Eve cannot do. So, it's just kind of keep in mind. And, of course, there is a size difference, and some of them will require slightly different clothing. She can take clothing that's longer in the legs, um, but she would need something a little bit shorter. Um, she can wear regular, just SD size, um, for, for the wider hips, so like leggings are normally okay. And she can wear those and they're normally perfectly fine in the length of the leg, but she's quite short so they tend to come up quite small. Uh, well, quite long, so she tends to, uh, she may need something slightly shorter, or you may just need to tuck in, like, the legs if, if you're buying trousers and such. But skirts and that I don't seem to have any issues with. But yeah, thank you very much, and um, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye!